Hey everybody, Dennis here. Today we're going to work on my 2000 Chevy Impala. As you can see, the uh, check engine light is on. Been having a little bit of issue. This car's actually been sitting for, uh, uh, let's see how long, about a month again. Uh, I got it running after uh, having some issues uh, in which the ignition module was bad and I drove it for about two weeks and then it started giving me problems again. Um, I pulled the code once and uh, it was a mass airflow meter. And what I am doing here is the pulling the code to confirm again. But uh, let's see. 3.8. Things kind of slow. Okay. P0102 mass airflow circuit sensor circuit low frequency um, says it passed the last time I don't see that but uh, what I did last time and I haven't driven the car since is I, uh, I actually took the mass airflow meter out and cleaned it with a can of brake cleaner um, but I went ahead and went down to my local salvage yard because brand new this thing's $125 and I'm trying to save pennies right now so this was $20 at a uh, local junkyard but uh, anyway I was going to show you all that and uh, I'm going to replace it but I was going to talk to you more about the problem that I was having um, let me turn this off because I hate to stink an auto light stay on but uh, anyway the problem that I was having was um, when I was headed home, it started cutting out, and I was I was barely able to maintain 30 to 35 miles per hour. Um, and anytime you would get into the throttle, it would just buck constantly. The car would buck. So uh, I just parked. I've been driving the truck since, and I've been so busy with work, I just hadn't been able to mess with it. Um, as y'all recall, I had problems with the ignition module like two or three weeks before that. Uh, but anyway, that was fixed with the ignition module, and anyway, they got fixed with the ignition module. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but uh, but this was a totally different problem. So this is a 3.8, and here is the mass airflow meter um i think what caused the problem to be honest with you uh with this was back when i was diagnosing the ignition module which is under these coil packs one of the guys that worked at gym suggested uh tapping on the mass airflow um as a sort of a diagnostic because they apparently they had problems out of these mass airflow meters and suppose if you tapped on it and the mass airflow was bad it would die so I did that a couple times and I'm wondering if maybe when I did that I got something messed up inside of it so that's quite possible but anyway another issue that I'm having and this car is about to be uh, torn down quite a bit uh, in the coming weeks is my intake manifold is leaking a ton of coolant um, I have to add about a quarter to a half a gallon every every other day so it's leaking pretty good so uh, but what I was wanting to do first was make sure this mass airflow fixes my problem because if it does then I will go ahead and start tearing this thing down if it does not then I don't know I'm, I'm getting tired of messing with this thing it, this car has been really reliable I got a hundred thousand miles out of it without any major problems um, I think the biggest thing I had to do was replace a water pump so but no breakdowns no leaving me stranded on the side of the road except for pretty much this so Actually, that and the ignition module, which was only about a month ago, two months ago. So anyway, rambling, rambling, rambling. So we're going to take this uh, mass airflow meter out, and it's actually um, let's see what size was it? It was Torx, but that's that 20. It's a 20 tamper-proof Torx, T20 tamper-proof. See how it's got the little dimple in the middle? 
those are those tamper proof sets anyway it's pretty easy to take off I can't remember if I tightened these or not so yeah they're tight I put these back in without dropping them. I got a couple extras when I was at the junkyard, so if need be. There's also uh, two recalls that are actually out on this car right now, and I checked about a month ago, maybe a little more than that, and parts still were not available, and I have not since received a letter saying parts were available, but they're both for oil leaks involving this front valve cover. One of them is for the valve cover gasket itself and the other one, give me just a second tighten this last one. The other one is for the O-ring on this cap and as you can see the vanity cover is missing and that's what they call it. It's actually in the trunk. Uh, I think part of the recall actually has to do with uh, throwing that away. I'm not sure. Anyway, Plug this mass air flow meter back in, and I'm going to go ahead and close the hood. I'm trying to be quiet, and I'm gonna get back inside, clear the code, and go drive it and see if it acts up. I'll bring it back in just a minute. All right, you guys, uh, just drove the car eight miles, um, and no problems, no check engine light, no falling flat on its face or anything like that and also there's no pending codes stored in the control module um, that low coolant light has been on it comes on and off and has for a couple years um, so I, I know that's not it's not low on coolant I just checked it but I may look into that while I got this thing tear, torn apart I think that sensor is on the side of the radiator and I don't believe I've ever replaced it anyway uh that's done um, replace that mass airflow meter and she's running good um thanks for watching uh, please comment rate and subscribe and uh, y'all have a great day and uh stay tuned for more on uh tearing down this engine